Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So, today, just a short video uh, to show you how to put your LiPos in storage mode. Now, this is my Team Grade Hobbies charger. I also have an IMAX B6 as well, and I can show you the same sort of routine on it. Um, these are, they basically operate very much the same way a lot of these chargers. So you're going to have to obviously have your LiPo battery hooked up first, which I do. It's off to the side here. Make sure your program select is on LiPo battery. Then you're going to hit the enter button once. And then it'll say LiPo charge. Hit your forward button. Until it says LiPo storage. Now you can set your amperage as high as one amp. This is for your drain. Because to put them in storage, it's going to drain your battery. Okay, so you can drain up to one amp at a shot, um, or whatever you want to do. Press the button again. Now this is a two cell battery we're working with. Right now it says 3S. So you push once on the start button, get that to flash. And then go back button to 2S. So, or forward if you need 3S, 4S, 5S, 6S. And it won't let you go past, okay? So we're going to go down, and you can go down as low as 1 cell, or 1S. So we're going to go 2S, hit the button again, press and hold, it says battery check, and it's going to start doing it. That simple. Now let me go grab my uh, IMAX B6 charger. And I can actually use the same power plug on each, this way I don't have to unplug and plug stuff back in. So I'm just going to unplug that. And move this one in place. Get that out of the way. Always make sure you plug positive to positive, negative to negative. Okay, so that's all set up. Now, you got to plug in your balance lead. So it is very important too, by the way, make sure your balance lead is plugged into its port. Now you see this says LiPo charge again. So battery type right now is LiPo, okay. Press start button, goes to charge. Forward button, balance, fast charge, storage. Right now set at 0.1 amps for 3.7 volt. And like I said, up to one amp for this charger too. Some chargers will go to a higher amperage rating. Again, 2S is what we're working with. Okay. And press and hold. Confirm. Yes. This one will make you confirm. The other one just automatically goes to it. The software is very, very similar between these chargers. Um, it's so similar that they virtually run exactly the same pretty well, except for that one little difference there for this one. Um, otherwise, they're both the same. So your high-tech charger, uh, if you've got a high-tech one that looks very much like the uh, Great Hobbies, it's going to have the same software, so you're going to program it the same way. So uh, that's uh, pretty much it. Simple, easy. Uh, when it's done, of course, the alarm goes off and tells you that it's uh, done its job. And uh, voila, you're done. Your battery is in storage. Grab your next one, your next one, your next one. And keep going until your heart's content. Until all your batteries that you want in the storage mode are uh, all in storage mode. Now, one thing here I'm just going to show you um, with the software. Hopefully you can see this. Version 1.0 v Right, let's try that again. Version 1.0 VA V6 AC. I'll put this one in. Sky RC IMAX B6. But they're the same button setups between both of them. The chargers look different. This is about $70 or $80 brand new. This was uh, about $36 or $38 bucks brand new. And uh, neither one of them have fans. Um, I actually like the IMAX, uh, I think, a lot better because the ports 
are built right into the side here. For this thing, you've got the retarded cable. So if you bugger the box, well, then you have to get a new cable or you uh, take your best guess and you're gonna have to modify um, your battery. So not really much of a guessing game, but it's you gotta get your negatives and positives together and modify your plugs to not have to use one of these things. There's videos on how to mod that and that's just stupid. Um, I believe in using the proper connections with the, the stuff so you don't have to screw around with that sort of thing. Um, because a lot of people don't know how to do it and they'll try it and then they'll bugger it up and then what, you know? And they got nobody to blame but themselves because they listened to somebody else do it and they tried it and it didn't work. So use the proper connectors and there won't be any grief. There's also a few batteries out there, especially the Roar Race Approved stuff. I had a, um, I had one, uh, God, I think it was a Thunder battery or something anyways um its stock connector anyway for the balance port it was totally different than these things this is your standard stuff and uh that one there i just clipped the wires off of it and put on a regular connector so i could use this thing properly and way i went um but you can buy adapters to just you know swap this out and plug it in but that's how you do the storage mode uh on these chargers so there you go. Any other questions, comments, feel free to ask and I'll do the best I can to answer them as always. And uh, hey, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.